Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I am so glad we have this opportunity to be here together. So welcome. Welcome to a Christmas celebration that's maybe, I hope, going to be memorable for you and maybe just a little bit different. Are you ready? Do, 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 do. Disco Christmas. I know. That's what brought some of you here. Because you wondered what disco and Christmas could be together. Disco is the beginning of the word discover. I hope that in this time of worship, you will discover again a joy that might actually get you up on your feet and out of your seat. There are certain times and moments that we are willing to be all in, 100%. Let's just take a moment to remember some of those people who paint not only their faces, but their chests at football games. 100% in. But the good news that we are celebrating, that love has come down to be among us, that God's love is beyond what we would ever ask for, is so much more to celebrate. So I hope that in that spirit, you'll be willing to join with me in an evening of celebration. We are so, so grateful to get to be in this together. So just a couple housekeeping things as we begin. If you are with us in Zoom or on Facebook Live, welcome. You are part of this together. We do have communion at this worship service. We will um, have you um, come up through the center aisle. We'll kind of give you some directions on that. All of our wafers are gluten-free and there are both grape juice and wine options and you'll deposit your empty cups on those little tables. If you've brought an offering for this evening, you can drop it off in the baskets also at the front when you come to get communion. Um, we have special music for you. Hopefully you have a candle and you're ready for when we um, light candles but as we get ready to start this worship. This worship that has been prepared for you. Take these words to heart. Love has come down and dwells among us. We are so grateful and so excited. And I have to share something about the end at the beginning because I am notorious for getting for forgetting to share it at the end. We have a little Christmas giveaway for you in the spirit of disco. Um, mine already broke, I broke mine. We have a little disco ornament for you. It's found on the tree at the back that's lit that also has a disco ball in front of it. So we invite you as you lead worship um, this evening to choose one of those disco ball ornaments that our confirmation kids and some other special friends helped put together this week. And that you would remember that the disco ball has all these pieces of mirror and they reflect light. And that's what we're called to do. So we're going to let our lights shine. And as we have this call to worship with some special music, I hope it really speaks to your heart. So welcome and Merry Christmas. Okay. And in this moment of pause, <laughs> where we do things real, welcome.
season of Advent, we have been lighting our Advent wreath. The first week we lit the candle to remind us that this hope of which God um, speaks and which we enter into is not wishful thinking. It's being rooted in faith. The peace, it is a peace that surpasses human understanding and joy. It is a rejoicing much beyond happiness. And this love, it's what this season is all about. In hope and expectation and prayer and waiting, we have come to this time where we light our Christ candle. We trust that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not, could not, would not, and will never be greater than the light. Please join me as we pray. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. May your light shine in each one of us. May our lives reflect your love. And this night, may it spark in each one of us a deep desire to celebrate the great gift of you in our lives, in our world. The gift of love that is beyond human understanding but which we know deep in our hearts. We ask this in your very own name, amen. Please stand as we sing together one verse of O Come All Ye Faithful. God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from Isaiah, the ninth chapter. Listen for the word of the Lord. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. So for our time with our children, I don't know, those of you who are way in the back, I'm going to um, show you the special shoes I wore just for today. They sparkle. They shine. Because sometimes we need children to lead the way. 
So you who are young and young at heart, I need you. Because we've got some dancing to do. Now, there are many people who, when you mention dancing at all, they are out. And yet, sometimes if it's a special occasion, like a wedding, where you have that perfect DJ, they can get people up on the floor. Or maybe you're sitting on the sidelines and you hear this, na 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 Right? The chicken dance. That can get some people on the floor. But tonight, I want to invite you, young and old alike, to join me in this dance. And I won't make you stand up the first time. We'll do it from your seats. It's easy. You know, there's some of those people who say they don't dance, and they say, this is my dance, right? Have you ever seen people do that? Here's how I dance. Well, this is just a little bit of an expansion from this. Do this, you can do this with me, come on, you can. And then go down to the side, up and down, and up and down. Love came down, love came down. You can stop, that's the Christmas message. This love of God has come down. Now, again, some people may be imagining John Travolta in a white polyester leisure suit. That was his disco dance move. You'll hear a little bit more about disco in the 1970s in my sermon, but for the simple message, for the children's message, be part of this choreography. Love has come down, but hear this for you. This love that has come down is for you because love shows up and it's often what gets people onto the dance floor. So I invite you in the manner of our children's message to put your hands out. We'll clap them together and please repeat after me as we pray. Dear God, God, Dear God help us be unafraid. Help us be unafraid. To dance and sing. To dance and sing. To be so happy. To be so happy. That you love us so much. That you love us so much. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I invite you to stand for our gospel acclamation. It's found in your bulletin. Angels we have heard on high. Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And so all went up to their own town to be registered. And Joseph also out of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his betrothed was great with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, where there was no room for them in the inn. Now in that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terribly afraid. But the angel said unto them, Do not be afraid, for unto you is born this day 
in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory be to God in the highest and peace on earth with all whom he's pleased. After the angels left them and returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now even into Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And so they went with haste. They found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in the manger. When they saw it, they made known all that had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all their words and pondered it in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard as it had been told to them. Please be seated. We invite you to hear this special piece of music.
here on Christmas Eve, her pastor gave the same very brief sermon. He simply said, happy birthday, Jesus, and they moved on. But that's not the sermon I have for you. I will take it under advisement. But I want to take you back to 1973. Some of you were not alive then. I was, I was 11. In 1973, as an 11-year-old, disco was all over the place. My sister and I were so excited because my dad had this kind of light blue polyester leisure suit. Underneath that leisure suit, he wore a dark blue polyester shirt with big white flowers on it. We insisted that he pull the big um, collar out and have it on top of that polyester suit and then have the special move where he turned the cups so that they were on top. We thought it was all that. It was style, it was music, but it was also a lot of dancing. One of the things I enjoyed in my childhood was my sister and I, and sometimes we could recruit my older brother, we would put together our own little shows. We weren't in musical theater, we didn't play any instruments, but we had a lot of fun choreographing special little events and we wanted any audience that would watch. My parents would get quite weary. They came up with many an excuse to you know, do something else but I think some of the fun was it, of it was not just in the performance, but in the putting it together. This year, as we come again to this message of God's amazing love, this love that comes down, I had this disco motivation to consider what would it take? What would it take to get you on the dance floor? At my first wedding, we choreographed our special wedding dance. Maybe some of you did that as well. People who were not dancers felt obligated in some ways. There were certain dances for certain people. That was one way. You could get people on the dance floor sometimes through shame or, you know, kind of like they've got a certain role. But I want to tell you about a time of dancing and singing that I've had the opportunity to participate in that warms my heart. For those of you who are not there yet, middle school is coming. For those of you who are there now, I pray for you regularly. For those of us who are on the other side of middle school, I have yet to hear many who wish that they could go back to those good old not days. But in middle school, we get to take our confirmation kids to Rainbow Trail. And Rainbow Trail has figured out a way to get just about everybody on the dance floor. For some, it's because they are putting on those costumes and it provides that kind of persona protection. For others, it's because someone else actually grabs their hand and shows them the moves. Most of the dancing that happens there is some form of choreography, whether it's a line dance or a circle dance. But there is such joy because as this dance goes on, everyone starts losing their self-consciousness. They're just free. And to see kids in that middle school age and stage who at other times it's just painful, the kind of self-doubt or the discomfort, to just be set free brings me great joy. So this is my invitation to you this Christmas. Will you let it be a disco Christmas for you? Will you consider entering in to the song and the dance of God's amazing grace and love? But here's the beauty of it. Just like those dances and even with their choreography or their special things, I'm that person. If my sister were here, you could tell, she could tell that I took jazz lessons and they kept saying, you're tall and in the back. I'm not tall. Mm -mm. I just needed to be in the back because no one needed to follow me because I'm not coordinated. I couldn't understand it. But there was still a place for me 
and there is a place for you. In this dance and song of Christmas, the place that God wants you to be is in a place where you trust and know how deeply you are loved, how much you belong, that you would make the songs of Christmas your own songs, that you would make any kind of dance your own dance, because that's when it's at its best. The dancing and singing, they're part of praising God. They're part of feeling unselfconscious, totally set free. So I want you to consider, Christmas is actually a 12-day season, and it doesn't even start till tomorrow. So you've got some time. Will you let yourself be free? And maybe it's just at home, by yourself. And even if this is as big as your dance is, trust this. God's amazing, huge love welcomes every opportunity to connect with you. So I hope you'll join in the dance of this Christmas. It's not the Nutcracker Sweet. It's not the Chicken Dance. It's not the Hokey Pokey. I mean, there's lots of dances. It's a dance of letting in this amazing love. Because here's the thing about dancing. It makes you kind of vulnerable. And when dancing, though, comes from your heart, it's amazing and beautiful. And that's what love has come down for, to be in your heart, to let you know that you belong, and that God's absolutely applauding and appreciating you in every move you make. So I don't know what it's gonna to take to get you on the dance floor, but here's the thing that we get to do together. We trust God deeply. And there's gonna be an opportunity, I'm putting it out there, that you're gonna be invited into the dance. I hope you'll say yes. Amen. Our worship continues with a song. Our hymn of the day is Go Tell It on the Mountain. We're just singing the first verse. Even though all the verses are printed in your bulletin, I invite you to stand. We'll sing the refrain, the verse one, and then the refrain. Please stand. Responses, hear our prayer. Joining our voices with the heavenly hosts and Christians throughout time and space, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. Love proclaims that a Savior has been born to us. Inspire your church throughout the world to proclaim the good news of Jesus' birth to all who seek salvation, hope, and new life. Lord, in your mercy. Our prayer. Love whispers to a weary world that the time for rest and restoration has come. Maintain healthy cycles of wake and sleep for all creatures. Where light pollution disrupts natural rhythms, encourage new practices. Lord, in your mercy. Our prayer. Love cries to a warring world that the time for peace is at hand. 
Direct those in power who make decisions on behalf of others that they nurture and sustain all that is healthy, good, and holy. Lord, in your mercy. Love sings through the wails of a young child. Respond to all who cry out in pain, despair, or need this night. We lift up the prayers of this congregation and those that are named silently in the hearts of here gathered. We pray for Jason and Richard, Dolores and Brian, Sue and Randy, the Escobedo family, the Blair family, Bob and Karen, Savannah, Andrew Ike, Michael Bax, the Shepherd family, all those who are grieving, that all may be healed. Bring comfort to those for whom separation, grief, or loss makes the Christmas season especially difficult. Lord, in your mercy. Love murmurs words of comfort to a newborn child and exhausted parents. Bless now new and expectant parents or caregivers, especially those who are alone or afraid this night. Pour out your love upon families of every kind. Lord, in your mercy. Rejoicing in your word made flesh among us, let us join in the dancing and singing and praising of you as we commend these prayers to you, confident of your grace and love made known to us in Christ Jesus, our Savior, in whom we pray. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with we you. invite you to share a sign of peace with one another, and then you can be seated. May you be the peace this world needs. Thank you for your generous offerings that make our ministry possible. If you brought a physical offering, when you come up to um, worship, you can, I mean, to communion, you can put them in the basket. And you can go ahead and be seated as we offer up this prayer. Gracious God, your word made flesh brings harmony to the earth. As we offer ourselves and these your gifts, prepare us to receive the grace and truth you offer at this table and renew in us the song of your salvation in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Please stand. It was in the very night in which he was betrayed that our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and he blessed it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again, in the same manner, he took the cup. He gave thanks and he blessed it. And he gave it for all to drink saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood given and shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. We join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. United as one, I invite you if you're with others and you're comfortable, you know them and want to join hands to do so. But know that we are also joining hands with the whole heavenly host, remembering those who have gone before us. God is so powerful and taught us to ask for what we need using these words taught to us by Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. All of our wafers are gluten-free. I'll be standing in the front, in the center, and I will uh, serve you a, a gluten-free um, wafer, and then you'll go to the side that you came up from. The wine will be the first um, set of cups, 
and the grape juice will be the next. We practice here at Lord of the Hills and um, Lutheran Church communion in the manner of Jesus, and he welcomes and invites you. It is his table, and at his table, you have a place and you belong. So please come taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The way you'll um, come is that you'll go towards the outside, all the way to the back, and come to the front. It's a choreography. I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out. Come taste and see the beauty and the wonder of God's amazing grace, this love that has come down for you. Children are welcome.
now in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you and, and keep you in Amen. his grace. Amen. Amen. We invite you to go ahead and have your um, candles available. Hopefully you um, know Silent Night or you can try to manage a candle and a bulletin. Um, Dan, from the way back, I'm going to ask you to um, take out the lights. Um, or take the lights down. And so we invite you, <laughs> we invite you to go ahead and stand and we're going to do candle lighting and singing. <laughs>
last verse of Silent Night, that was probably like that cue on my part. In hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Christ Jesus, the Word made flesh. Amen. We sing together, Joy to the World, verse 1 only. Amen. Let us go in peace to love, serve, and grow. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.